Hello, this is Mighty Owl. This is going to be cool. Take out a piece of paper and fold it in half. Now open the paper and on the right side of the fold, use paint to draw something colorful. Next, fold the paper back up and carefully press down. When you open it, you'll see the same design on the left side of the fold. Awesome, right? You have just created a symmetrical image using a line of symmetry. <laughs> but let's take a sec to explain exactly what that means. A shape is symmetrical when it has at least one line of symmetry. And a line of symmetry divides an image into two identical parts. The fold in the paper we just drew on is the line of symmetry since the right and left sides are identical. You can think of one image as a reflection of the other. And when you look into a mirror, you're looking at your own reflection or an image that is identical to you. Here are some examples of symmetrical shapes. The dotted line is the line of symmetry. If you fold the shape along the dotted line, the two parts will line up. Let's take a look at the rectangle. The first line was a horizontal line, folding it top to bottom. But we can fold it the other way as well from left to right. A shape can have more than one line of symmetry. Uh, this rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Well, how many lines of symmetry can you find with this star? If we start at the top point and make a dotted line, we can see that it makes two identical parts. Perfect. Let's try the next point to the right. There's another line of symmetry. And what about the next point? Yep. If we keep going, we can see that there are five lines of symmetry in the star. I'm feeling pretty good about this. How about you? I think we're ready for some practice. Determine if the line shown is a line of symmetry. All right, we can do this. Let's imagine folding each shape along the dotted line. If the two parts line up exactly, then the line shown is a line of symmetry. Let's get started. Okay, looking at shape A, we can look at the top and bottom of the shape and see that they are the same. It's a reflection, and so the dotted line is a line of symmetry. Good. Now, check shape B. Uh-huh. Look at the part on the right. If we fold this shape in half, this part will be too high to match the left side. Well, so that's not a line of symmetry. Shape C has a line that splits the circle into two equal parts. So that is a line of symmetry. Shape D? Well, let's take a look at this point to the right of the line. If we were to fold the shape, it would line up with the point of the left. Wonderful! Another line of symmetry. And last but not least, shape E. One side of the shape looks like a triangle, and the other side is not a triangle, and so they're not identical at all. This is not a line of symmetry. But wait a sec. Let's look at shape E again and see if we can find any lines of symmetry. This hexagon reminds me of the star shape in the example above. Let's do the same thing and create lines from each corner. Look at that. This shape actually has three lines of symmetry. Cool. Look at these shapes. They're actually letters. And we have to use the line of symmetry to reveal the full letter. Let's see what letters we'll discover. Let's start with the first image. We'll see how far from the line of symmetry the image is and make points at each corner. And now we can make points on the opposite side. Well, that dot is on the bottom closest to the line is one box away. And let's make a dot one box away on the other side. The next dot is four boxes away. So we can make one four boxes away on the other side. And let's keep going for all the dots. Now that all the dots are there, we can connect them to make the second half of the image. And look, we made the letter M. All right. We can do the same thing for the other shapes. Let's find the corners and place one the same distance from the line on the other side. And look, we've made the letters A, T, and H. And that spells out mighty math. Cool. You did a great job learning about lines of symmetry and symmetrical figures. Remember, for a shape to be symmetrical, it needs to have a line of symmetry. The line of symmetry is what splits the shape into two identical parts. 
and shapes can have more than one line of symmetry. Great work. But before we go, here's a challenge for you. The next time you look at yourself in the mirror, try to find out where the line of symmetry is. And I'll see you next time.